Elbit Systems, an international high-technology company based in Israel, has developed the Bird of Prey, an agile, compact, and fully stabilized drone-mounted remote weapon system designed to enhance infantry squad lethality and provide standoff warfare capabilities beyond the squad's normal detection and engagement range. Weighing less than 23 kilograms, this foldable system can be carried, deployed, and operated by a single soldier, fitting neatly into an infantry backpack. The system's fully stabilized fire control system incorporates optical sights including a visible day HD camera and a thermal camera, allowing the operator to detect, aim, and track targets with high accuracy. With a hit probability exceeding 90%, it provides reliable lethality. The Bird of Prey can be mounted on various standard drone platforms, making it adaptable. Its ground control station ensures safe and easy operation of both the weapon system and the drone, supporting manual or automated takeoff slash landing, flight, surveillance modes, and weapon operation. The system the system boasts a mission duration of over 45 minutes. Additionally, the AI-based algorithms support remote automated takeoff, landing, and flight path planning, enhancing its effectiveness for border security missions. The compact size, multi-sensor capabilities, and simple operation make the Bird of Prey a useful force multiplier for gathering intelligence and engaging targets in urban and rural environments. The X-18 tank boat, also known as the Andesina class combat boat, is an innovative and highly maneuverable catamaran design built by North Sea Boats and designed by Elo Emotion Marine for the Indonesian Armed Forces. It serves as a stable weapons platform for close and long-range direct fire support in coastal and riverine environments. With a crew of five to six persons, the X-18 features twin hulls giving it excellent sea-keeping properties and a shallow draft ability for beach and river landings. This allows it to insert or extract squads of up to 20 special forces or marines. It is fitted with high-performance diesel engines and water jet propulsion, reaching a maximum speed of 50 knots, 93 kilometers per hour, and a cruise speed of 40 knots, 74 kilometers per hour. The main armament is the CMI Defense Cockerill 3105 system, based on a versatile 105 millimeters high-pressure, low-recoil force gun. Fully stabilized for accuracy day or night, it can engage targets directly out to 5,000M using NATO 105mm ammunition and indirectly out to 10,000M. This powerful and flexible weapon gives the commander a wide range of tactical options throughout the mission. The Chinese Army has debuted its latest weapon, a gun-toting robotic dog, the Mechanical K-9, which has an automatic rifle on its back. It is a killer robot dog, the jewel of the Chinese company Beijing Blade Wind Technology, a soldier who does not sleep, does not go through cold or heat, and who, in addition to being armed, is equipped with cameras and the latest in recognition technology. Although initially these types of war robots were designed to be operated by humans, it is assumed that work is also being done to allow them to operate autonomously in the battlefield, whether to shoot, locate targets, or launch reconnaissance drones, the possibilities are as immense as they are terrifying, they are relatively cheap, and can be used massively on different fronts. Developed by Unitree Robotics, these AI warhounds are capable of traversing complex terrain for reconnaissance and can target and fire while on the move. The Unitree Go 2 robot dog, which appears to be the model showcased, has a starting price of $1,600 according to the company's website. Despite their relatively low cost, these robotic dogs offer immense and terrifying possibilities for massive deployment across various fronts. While they may appear advanced, their utilitarian design reflects their primary purpose as formidable military assets in the Chinese arsenal. The Racer Heavy platform is a marvel of engineering, a fusion of raw power, cutting-edge autonomy, and formidable weaponry. Picture a 30-ton beast armored and ready for battle, yet equally at home tearing through rugged landscapes. Here's what makes it extraordinary. The Racer thrives where others falter. Its robust design allows it to tackle challenging off-road environments with agility and resilience. Rocky terrains, dense forests, and muddy trails are mere obstacles to overcome. Its wheels grip the earth, 
propelling it forward at speeds that rival human drivers. Equipped with state-of-the-art autonomy algorithms, the racer isn't just a brute force machine. It's an intelligent navigator analyzing the terrain in real time. Loose gravel? No problem. Steep incline? It adapts effortlessly. Like an unstoppable rally car, it blazes its own trail. Firepower unleashed. But wait, there's more. Envision the racer armed to the teeth. A 50 millimeters cannon, missiles, and coaxial machine guns. It's a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. Yet, its true strength lies beyond the weaponry. Imagine deploying the racer in disaster zones. It searches for survivors, delivers supplies, and assesses damage, all while shrugging off adversity. Speed, resilience, and autonomy converge, shaping a new era of UGV capabilities. So, next time you see a rocky trail, imagine the racer heavy platform tearing through it. A symphony of power, intelligence, and unwavering determination. The SMX-26, introduced by Naval Group, is a small submarine concept designed for littoral operations in very shallow waters. It is optimized for coastal areas with depths of up to 15 meters, where conventional submarines struggle to operate effectively. Equipped with extreme maneuverability thanks to four steerable and retractable azimuth thrusters, the SMX-26 can maintain steady movement. Its design includes a wheeled undercarriage system for quick landing on various seabeds and the deployment of hoses to the surface for air and power. Integrated sensors support missions, including special forces dives to identify moving targets. Armaments include a 20mm cannon, a missile launch container for anti-aircraft self-defense, two heavyweight torpedoes, and eight lightweight torpedoes with heavy warheads. DCNS has developed a new anti-aircraft self-defense system for submarines, available in mast-mounted and undersea vehicle versions. The SMX-26 exemplifies innovative submarine design tailored to the the challenges of literal environments, with capabilities for special operations, mine countermeasures, and anti-submarine warfare in confined coastal regions. The Paramount Marauder is a multi-role, highly agile mine-protected armored vehicle manufactured by Paramount Group. The Marauder can handle up to 4,500 kilograms of payload, making it versatile for various missions. Independently proven to offer mine protection up to 8 kilograms TNT anywhere under the hull and 14 kilograms TNT for a blast under any wheel. It also features specially designed anti-blast seats. Described as the world's most unstoppable vehicle on Top Gear, the Marauder is rugged and robust, demonstrating outstanding cross-country agility. It can cross all types of terrain at impressive speed and can even be airlifted with little preparation. The Marauder can be configured as an equipped and armored personnel carrier, an ambulance, anti-armor fire support, command vehicle, and more. It accommodates a crew of two in the front plus eight fully equipped soldiers in the rear. Whether patrolling long range or responding quickly to threats, the Marauder is a highly adaptable battlefield tool with exceptional and ballistic protection. It's no wonder it gained fame after its daring feats on Top Gear, where it drove through walls, over cars, and even visited a fast food drive through The Seal Carrier SDV, Swimmer Slash Seal Delivery Vehicle, is a specialized underwater vehicle used by the U.S. Navy SEALs and other special operations forces for stealthy maritime operations. Developed by JFD, James Fisher, and Sons PLC, it facilitates the insertion and extraction of personnel and equipment. The Seal Carrier operates in three modes, surface, semi-submerged, and fully submerged. It can reach speeds of up to 30 knots on the surface before switching to submerged mode for a covert final approach. Seals sit upright inside the vehicle, relying on their own air tanks or rebreathers for breathing, supplemented by compressed air tanks on the SDV. The SDV can be launched from a surface ship, a submarine, or deployed via airdrop from transport aircraft like the C-17 Globemaster III or C-130 Hercules. For airdrops, the SDV is loaded onto a specialized platform inside the aircraft, which then flies to a designated drop zone over water near the operation site. The SDV and 
platform are extracted from the aircraft by parachutes. Upon hitting the water, the SDV detaches from the platform and submerges, allowing the SEAL operators to carry out their assigned maritime mission. This airdrop capability provides the SEALs greater operational flexibility, enabling them to deploy their SDVs from aircraft instead of solely relying on surface transportation methods. It reduces transit time and allows missions in areas without easy maritime access. Various launch methods are applicable, depending on the situation, providing the SEALs with multiple options for stealthy insertion and extraction while conducting clandestine maritime operations. The K-10 Ammunition Resupply Vehicle ARV, is an automatic ammunition resupply vehicle based on the chassis of the K-9 Thunder, a self-propelled howitzer. The K-10 ARV has a combat weight of 47 metric tons and can support a K-9 team by carrying and resupplying 104 shells of 155mm artillery ammunition and 504 units of charges under heavy fire. The vehicle is operated by a three-person crew, requiring only one loader due to its fully automated control system. It transfers ammunition at a maximum speed of 12 rounds, slash min loading the K-10 takes approximately 37 minutes, while unloading it takes around 28 minutes. Interestingly, it is often referred to as the briquette car by military and defense industry officials. The K-10 ARV plays a crucial role in ensuring efficient ammunition resupply for the K-9 Thunder, contributing to the effectiveness of artillery operations on the battlefield. It was also designed for the Egyptian military, providing command and control, reconnaissance, and communication for armored vehicles based on the K-10 chassis and boasting high mobility. The Themis Tracked Hybrid Modular Infantry System is an unmanned ground vehicle UGV, designed and built by Milrim Robotics, an Estonian company, primarily for military applications. This versatile, medium-sized platform is intended to support dismounted troops in various roles, including as a transport platform, remote weapon station, IED detection and disposal unit, intelligence, surveillance, and armed reconnaissance. The Themis features a modular design that allows it to accommodate different mission payloads, such as weapon stations, towing attachments, and ISR sensors. It operates in both line-of-sight and beyond-line-of-sight control modes, maintaining low visual and audio signatures. Its open architecture provides flexibility in adapting to specific mission requirements. The vehicle has a maximum speed of 20 km per hour, weighs 1,630 kg, and has a payload capacity of up to 750 kg, with a hybrid runtime of up to 15 hours. Acquired by 16 countries, including 8 NATO members, Members, the Themis has been used for various military tasks such as casualty evacuation, logistics support, and intelligence gathering. Milrim Robotics has developed variants like the Themis Combat UGV with anti-tank missile launchers and the Themis UGV Obscurant for deploying smoke screens, enhancing force capabilities, increasing standoff distances, and improving survivability for maneuver forces. ELTA North America offers a range of air defense radars designed for early warning, detection, and tracking. These systems come in multiple bands and sizes, serving various missions such as fire control, surveillance, and counter-rocket, artillery, and mortar operations. A notable system is the ELTA-2083, featuring an advanced active electronically scanning array L-band radar deployed at high altitudes, capable of detecting and tracking multiple targets, including aircraft, cruise missiles, and low-flying threats, well beyond the the range of ground-based radars. ELTA North America is committed to delivering robust, advanced technologies to address both current and future battlefield threats. Key features include multi-beam and multimode capabilities, enabling simultaneous tracking of multiple targets with high accuracy and reliability. The radars utilize sophisticated algorithms and digital beam-forming techniques to enhance detection range and resolution, even in environments with electronic countermeasures. With modular and scalable designs, ELTA 
LTA systems air defense radars can be adapted for various platforms, including ground-based, naval, and airborne applications, ensuring versatile and effective protection against a wide range of aerial threats from aircraft and helicopters to missiles and UAVs.